Hi, and welcome to the Assemblines Podcast. I'm Chris Torrance. So today, when I opened my front door, I was really excited to see that my Apple IIe clear case had arrived. MacFX did a great job at notifying backers after the Kickstarter, and even though there were a couple delays, they did a great job at keeping backers informed as to where their cases were. Nevertheless, I was still actually surprised when it showed up on my doorstep. So, let's take a look. The first thing I noticed was how professional looking the package was. So it came in a branded box with a picture of the actual clear case inside. And then inside the box were some styrofoam inserts that perfectly fit the sides of the case itself. So everything arrived completely undamaged and in perfect shape. Let's take a look at the actual case. All right, so here's the clear case itself. I got the one that's branded as an Apple IIe. There was also an option to get one branded as an Apple IIgs if you were making a Stealth GS. And you can see that what you get is the actual clear case itself as well as the base pan for the Apple IIe. And this is actually spray painted a nice kind of metallic uh, cream color that matches the color of the original Apple IIe. So you can see for the actual clear case, it's modeled after the newer versions of the Apple IIe case with the hinge on the back that actually wraps around the top of the case as opposed to the older versions which had the velcro like tabs that were mounted on a bracket right here. So this is actually a lot better because it just latches on and you don't have to worry about those velcro tabs popping off. When I got the case it actually came with the Apple IIe badge as separate stickers but you just have to peel off the backing and stick them on and there's a nice recessed slot so you don't have to worry about putting it on crooked. It also comes with feet that match the color of the base pan and you have to also apply those yourself. But again, there's a recessed area so you don't have to worry about putting it on crooked. Here's the Apple IIe that I'm disassembling to put into the clear case. I've gone ahead and I've already removed the keyboard as well as the power supply which is just held on by four screws. Now I need to remove the motherboard. It's held on by four screws here at the back but then there's also these plastic tabs that the board just gets shoved through. And to remove these what you want to do is you want to carefully pinch the plastic. There's little wings that spread out. So to remove these, I'm just going to go ahead and I'm going to squeeze on the little wings here while carefully prying up the case. And when you're prying up like this, you try not to put too much torque or bend on the actual case because you don't want to weaken the board itself or the traces. Alright, last one. All right, and then the motherboard should just lift out. The last thing we need to remove from the case are the plastic mounting tabs here. And again, these are held on just by little wings on either side. So if you just squeeze near the base and then wiggle downward, you should be able to shove them all out just like that. All right, now we'll bring in the new case and just reverse the process. So the first thing we want to do is put the plastic tabs through the square holes all right let's put the motherboard back on okay make sure everything is lined up properly this base pan already has the little metal posts at the back here, so you don't need to transfer those. And we'll just carefully shove down kind of evenly. It helps if you put your hand underneath maybe a little bit, just to give it something to rest on. And now we can go ahead and screw the back of the motherboard back in. Okay, so the motherboard is fastened down. Let's go ahead and attach the speaker to the case 
the speaker faces downward on the Apple II series like that. And then there's these metal brackets which fit into tabs on either side of the speaker. And you just need to take a look at the orientation of the metal bracket to see which way it goes. One thing to keep in mind when you're putting the brackets on, you want to make sure that it's not actually shorting out the plus and minus on the speaker itself. If you do it right, the bracket should go completely underneath the tab and out the other side. And so then just repeat the process for the other side as well. Okay, next let's put in the power supply. So that's just held on by four screws. And the easiest way to do this is just flip the case over and line it up and then just put in the screws. And again, you're using these screws that came with your original Apple IIe. Okay, we'll plug in the power supply there. On my old 2E, you can see that it used these metal mounting brackets for the keyboard, and these were just screwed into the bottom of the base pan. And so I thought that these are the brackets that I would actually need for the new one. But when I actually tried it, I was able to just screw the keyboard into the attached mounts on the clear case itself. So I don't think I actually need the brackets. To screw this in, I'm just using these machine screws that came with the case. Okay, the last thing to do is just plug in the keyboard like that and then just assemble the case. All right, so there you have it. There is the Apple IIe clear case from MacFX. The plastic of the case is really nice. It's a hard plastic completely transparent. It's very smooth on top. It's definitely been polished. It also looks really durable and sturdy. The only thing that I might add to this would be a different keyboard. However, MacFX just announced a new Kickstarter for a clear keyboard. So I'll have a link in the show notes to that. Overall, I'm really impressed with the Apple IIe clear case from MacFX. I think they did a fantastic job on the quality of the product as well as the shipping and I'll definitely be looking for more products from them in the future. Once again, thanks for watching. Thank you.